This is what we want in life, to build our community around us. And it's not a one-person game. It's about creating a space that represents a future football. Football is the thing that unites the city and many other cities. None of the light bulb moments lets use fans to support blue banks. Everyone has got the right to play football in a safe space and at the highest level. Being inclusive and being open allow people to understand each other. Like, Why would you not play for this team, especially what they stand for? An activism is something that can have a positive influence on the community. It wasn't for fans pulling the food banks. I don't know where I'd be, you know. It really saved my life. I never felt like I could be open about myself. The world at Stonewall FC is more than just a football club. My dream is to be a professional football coach and represent an LGBT coach in professional football. Again, we never saw someone like that yet. I really look up to Jorgen Klopp. As a manager, he's very inclusive. He don't care about anything else besides being a good person, first of all. You know, I've had the problems along the way. I lost everything, you know, all my relationships, couldn't see my children. Uh, came homeless. My mum died when I was a kid, and my brother died of uh, an addiction around about the same time. I think it all stemmed from there, really, and I felt alone. You were saying how you used to sleep here, was it? Yeah, yeah, it's a low point in my life. I had a major drink problem, and uh, I used to just keep on the bench, because I'd be that drunk. Every time I looked at the ground, give me a little bit of comfort even though I was tormented in my head with the way I was. It's just the club itself, it just draws you in. The food bank saved me life. They, they gave me like the drive to sort myself out, and that's why I decided to become a volunteer, to give back what was given to me. And uh, no, I haven't got a lot, but I've got more than I did have two years ago. We went to the pre-season game with my son. That was the first time I'd seen him for 21 years. I want to be there for my kids. I am today. When I grew up in Israel, as a kid, we used to play football in the neighborhood all the time. I couldn't really be who I am. I was always the quiet one. I didn't want to sound gay. I didn't want to seem gay. I didn't want to seem different because it didn't seem like you can be different. It took me maybe 18 years to, to really come out. Since I came here, I've been moving around a couple uh, teams. I really felt pressure from the dressing room to talk about my love life. Definitely got me just a bit sad that I can't combine these two words. For me, it was something that I thought will never happen. Through a friend, I just found Stonewall FC. It's an open and safe place. You can play competitive. You can play for fun and in a welcoming environment and community. It's a family. Um, and obviously also playing football. <laughs> Three new people tonight, as usual, just to say hello to wearing a Liverpool top. So we'll forgive him for today. Um, so I was uh, being hungry and not going to the food bank because my pride wouldn't get me through the door. A friend of mine like, intervened. And what I, I got when I got there was totally different from what I expected. And I wasn't looked down upon because of the way I looked and the way I was. You know, I had a smile on my face, and it was just for that one 20 minute like meeting. <laughs> He's got the proud record. He's probably done more food bank collections outside on food and goods than with anyone. I think the whole spirit of the city is, you know, we'll fight back and we're fighting back against, you know, food poverty. If each fan who went to the match bought one tin of food, we'd have 45, 50,000 tins of food, and that'd feed a lot of people. I believe football is probably the most powerful vehicle that can be used as a force for change and a force for good. You know it's right when we move in. I thought it was going to be like all about being LGBT less than football. But when I came, it was very professional, very all about the football, but at the same time, very comfortable. And straight away from the first training, I just felt like part of the team. One of the first things I look for when a player signs for the club is not, are you gay, come to Stonewall Football Club, is 
Do you believe in what we believe in? I get asked why I play for uh, an LGBTQ team and it's just like, well, why not? The allyship is really important as well. To be represented as well, just as an Asian man, even if I'm straight, it can connect with so many different people of hearts and minds and cultures. You know, you don't even have to speak. You have a ball, you, have, you, know, you have two jumpers, you're ready to play. I have passion. I want to be in football for the rest of my life. And Stonewall FC definitely helped me to combine my two worlds, basically. felt like something that I thought will never happen, and Stonewall FC just made it happen. Fans fall through bank, yeah, they've always been there for me. You know, never turned their back. I've got something to get up for in the morning, and, and I've got a purpose, you know. They loved me, so, so, so I could learn a lot myself. And what is it about football that you love so much? Because it's obviously an enormous part of your life. I guess it's hard to say. It's an emotional game. You go from happy to crying for losing or for winning. Like, it's just very emotional. I don't know, I just, I love that game. <laughs> Being together and know the struggle everyone had. And now we're in the team that we feel actually confident and feel good about being ourselves. I feel this is what makes us confident together as well. Fans, players, the staff at the grounds, the people I don't even know. Do you know what I mean? I have a connection with. On that day, it's pitch it's, hairs on the back of your neck. You know, for me, you can hear the team being read out five minutes before the kickoff. You can hear them walk along.